right, what is up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sonoran hot dog video. If you're gonna make this video at home, this these hot dogs at home, the ingredients you're gonna need are bolillo, okay? You're gonna need pinto beans, you're gonna need onions, you're gonna need tomatoes, and if you like, you can chop up some chiles right there. You're gonna need mayonnaise, okay? You're gonna need mustard, you're gonna need salsa verde, Okay, chunky salsa verde like this, or it could be jalapeno sauce, whatever you want. And obviously the bacon wrap hot dogs, all right? So those are the ingredients, guys, for the original Sonoran hot dog. Um, so this is what you need. If you're gonna make it, I highly suggest you do, but we'll get into the process now. All right, we got the hot dogs cooking right here. You're gonna cook them up, get them nice and um, cooked through, man, crispy, you know what I mean, on the bacon. And um, with the bolillo, you're gonna wanna open it up right here like so. Um, you don't wanna fully open it all the way, just partially so you can fit all the all the ingredients inside, guys. So you wanna make sure you open them up like, just like a hot dog, you know? Just a with bolillo, which is thank you. All right, so we now we have the hot dogs. They're all done. They're all cooked fully through with the bacon sitting in the bolillo, guys. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take some beans, okay? You're gonna take beans, you're gonna add some beans in there like so. Alright. You're gonna add some tomatoes. Like so. Alright, followed by with some onions. You're gonna follow it through with some chunky Salsa verde, tomatillo, or jalapeno, whatever you want to call it, like so, like that. And look at that, it looks delicious. All right, bang. what up? Welcome back, welcome back, man. We are here today with the Bacon Wrap Sonora Hot Dog, guys. You guys saw me load it up. You saw what it was, man. Check it out, check it out. Um, we There's so many different variations, guys, to make this hot dog. I mean, there's people add a lot of different things. I tried to stick to the most original. Um, you saw what, what, it, which, what it consisted of. is green chile, mayonnaise, um, onions, green salsa, frijoles, um and um tomatoes and stuff like that um so yeah, that's a better look at it man i'm super excited um right here what we have is some um doritos flaming hot um you know let me give you your napkin there you go because it's gonna be messy um she made hers a little bit different why don't you let them know how you made yours with this one right here um so. i made it the same way just didn't um i didn't put a lot of beans on mine just kind of like let it left it like kind of like a regular like street dog. And the original does call for mustard on it, but I don't I don't I I can't eat mustard. I don't like mustard, so boo, you know. But um, here we go, man. We're about to get it in. Um, this video is dedicated to you guys, obviously from the YouTube channel. You guys voted for this. Um, remember that the bread is bolillo bread. It's not regular hot dog bread. Um, we we got our bolillos were kind of small, guys. Um, so. It kind of like, you know, it was kind of hard to fit the Frank in there. Um, but yeah, it's okay. So here we go. First impressions of those Sonora. All right, here we go, ready? Mmm. Mmm. Right off the hit, you get, um, just a taste of all the variation, the bacon. Me personally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more of this um, of this green salsa right here on top. I'm gonna drizzle it on top because I'm, I'm a chile salsa lover. So I'm gonna drizzle it on top like that. And we're gonna go in like this, all right? So definitely try to make this for yourself. Grab a Dorito. So here we go again. Mm. You get that taste. I love the frijoles, the bolillos, nice and soft. You went and got the bolillo um, in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. 
the bolillo is fresh. Mm. Very, very delicious, guys. I would definitely recommend to go out and try this. Try to make it yourself super simple, right? Yeah. These are good, but I feel like I possibly enjoy more of the LA Street Dog yeah. than the actual Sonora Dog. Mm. But still packing lots of flavor. If you had to choose, what would you choose? The LA Street Dog or the Sonora, Arizona Tucson Dog? <clears throat> Probably the LA Dog. Why? Just because I think we're ready with the meat and bacon. It's already good enough flavoring. Mm. The beans is a good, um, a good, it's good. But I feel like in a hot dog, I mean, sometimes the more, the better, sometimes not. You know what I mean? How'd the mm -hmm. mustard taste on there? But. Oh, really? No. <clears throat> Gives them more flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I like the salsa on there. Oops. I like the salsa on there. I feel like it tastes really good. It's a good, it complements it very well. You want more salsa or you just... No. Mm. Sorry, you guys. This is the one with the beans. The one I just had right now was just a regular um, dog. Let's see, I'll put some mm. cheese in the front. Very good. Mm. To me, the Alex Street dog is just better. That's how right there, mm -hmm. the serrano, got a little bit. Was that serrano? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The serrano combined with the flaming house makes it enhance more, along with the chile. So here we go. One more. Look at that, hanging out. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, how's that one? This one's good, but it has, um, there's a lot of, Different flavor going on here. Yeah. You got the beans. You got the the um, hot dog with the bacon. You got the onion, tomato, the ketchup, the mustard, the um, mayonnaise, and yeah, it's good. I just like the flavors more of the LA hot dog, street dog, mm. with the mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. It's just it's just a good flavor. But this is pretty good too. Yeah, we're spending more time talking about the LA Street Dog than the damn Sonora Dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good though. It's not bad. Yeah. Out of a ten, of course I would have to have I would have to taste this from an authentic vendor before I could give my full my full like rating. But a home rating, I'd give it like a maybe like a like a seven and a half. Would I would I advise you to make it? Sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll give it like a seven and a half. What would you give yours? Um, I'll probably give it the same rating, seven and a half. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's not bad. It's uh, it's a different kind of hot dog. No, there's nothing. We're not saying it's bad. We just <clears throat> we're so used to our LA dogs. Yeah. Um, it's really good. It, it has a different flavor. Like I said, it's the a different, texture. Yeah, different style. Different style overall, but it's good. Mm. I mean, if you love your beans with weenies, you're gonna definitely love this. Oh yeah, that's classic right there. Yeah. Beans with weenies. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely make it, guys. Don't Try don't. It out. We're not trying to shone it down. Try it out. It's, it's worth. We should have not even made that comparison. Probably, honestly, <clears throat> it's two different things. I mean, two different styles completely. There's no chile. You know, there's no um, beans on an LA dog. You know. Oh. I guess we're just so LA that. <laughs> We we love the LA dog, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> How does it taste with the mustard? Is, did it complement it well? I just can't do Good. mustard. I can't do mustard. Is that? It's good. Yeah. 
Mm. The bread, I like the bread with it. I didn't think the bread would be hardly be good, but compliments it well, doesn't it? Yeah, the bread's soft, so definitely. And the bread's a good size. I thought it was gonna be too small, but it's perfect. I was just more. I was just more talking about like the length a little bit. I think because the dogs were too big for the polio. Yeah, but, but then, I feel like what was that? But I think this is fine because then you're gonna be with too much bread if you get something bigger. So I think this is a These are a lot more filling than regular mm -hmm. hot dogs though. Yeah. Because of the beans. Mm-hmm. And the bread is thicker, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I've always wanted to find was uh, um somewhere where, where they make fresh buns in-house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, hot dog buns though. <clears throat> I've never Maybe been able to find that. Maybe at a like a certain kind of like bread bake a baker <clears throat> kind of. Yeah. That's a search. Pretty sure there's somewhere in LA that does that. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. mm. It's spicy. It's a good touch with the flaming. Hot. Mm. I was gonna put guacamole on, on one of mine, but I was like, nah, I think it's too mushy. Oh yeah, no, the guac would have been too much. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try to do something a little different. If you guys know, um, we've done bacon wrap hot dogs before. Um, we just decided to do a little twist on it. And um, mm. killed it. Mm -hmm. Killed him. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was fun. It was good. Um, next time we do do hot dogs, we're going to do the original ones we're used to because those are just dank as hell. Mm -hmm. And um, we will definitely get back to you guys <clears throat> on the next video, man. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. It's your boy uh, TM with... Oh, sorry. Crystal. With Crystal. And uh, we'll definitely talk to you guys in the next one, man. Man. All right, man. Peace.